So the first thing you want to do when you are creating your snowflake, you're going to get to have white or blue to choose from for your paper. So when you are creating your snowflake, it is a square, so it doesn't matter which way your paper is. First thing you're going to do is fold it in half. Try and get it as nice and neat as you can. And then we'll fold it in half one more time to make a square. So remember where, you'll want to remember where the middle of your snowflake is. So the middle of my snowflake is going to be right here on this corner. That's the corner that is the middle of my snowflake. So maybe if you want, you can kind of mark it so you remember where that middle is. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two sides here. We're going to kind of do some folding. And I'm going to start with the one on this side, on my right side. I'm just going to fold it so it's about in the middle here. So a little bit further than the middle. So you can see um, it's going a little bit further than the middle when I fold this in half. And this side is just going to come over and they're going to line up with this edge. So again, I'm going to take this corner, we're going to fold that piece of paper kind of like a ice cream cone here. We want to crease it as good as you can. Press it down so it kind of looks like a folded up ice cream cone. So again, that's kind of what we did. We folded one side, then we folded the next side. So it lines up nice and neat here. After you have that done, you can use a little piece of tape just a little piece, nothing too big. And I'm going to just tape those together so it doesn't keep opening. So I'm just going to tape this side here together. I can use my scissors for the next step. I want to cut off this extra part here. Let me make a mark so you guys can see it. Right here, right at the top of that, that folded paper. We're going to cut off this extra. So it looks something like that. And from there, once you have your triangle, you're ready to start decorating your snowflake. We'll probably want to do just a few shapes to start with. They can just be little simple shapes. You guys can use a pencil for this. I'll just like little triangles are easy. And what we'll do is we'll just cut those out. Once those are cut out, we'll be able to open it up and see what we've got. So let's see what we have when we do this. Really take your time. It's going to be in some spots where you have a lot of folded paper, it's going to be a little tougher to cut. So really go slow take your time you probably have a better chance of using the back of the scissors so opening your scissors all the way up and then slowly cutting carefully slowly cutting you may end up with something maybe like this and we'll see when I open up my paper take off my tape you'll have yourself a snowflake. So doing different things, doing different things, like cutting different parts on the top of your paper, maybe even cutting parts at the tip of your paper, so right here, could change how your snowflake looks. Cutting little pieces off the top is going to change how it looks. So we'll go ahead and try that out. And what we can do afterwards, after your first one, is you can make a second one.